Okay. I'm gonna try this crap again. Ha! See, it worked now. Anyways, this is our uh, new video. It's basically just gonna run you guys through some progress that we made on some things. Um, just to kind of show you that we are still pressing on. Um, this is our splash screen. The splash image got changed because I got bored looking at the other one, so I made a new one. Um, that's it. Uh, this is the default skin. Um, as you can see, it's changed a bit. I tried to spruce it up a bit. Oh, that's all funky, but I tried to spruce it up a bit, basically, from from how it looked before, just kind of flat colors and things like that. So just tried to give it a little bit of life. Um, one thing we've got going, you know, on one level is our security cameras. Um, you'll see an icon initially while it loads as opposed to the blank that was before, and then now you can actually see that's because I'm using a screen capture, uh, what do you call it, or uh, camera, so it'll just constantly update the image. Um, but, you know, it's a demonstration of pro progress, as it were. You may notice there are some pictures lacking, uh, some things are lacking, window highlights. And that's just the uh, nature of me just not having time to design all the screens quite yet. Um, here is uh, the grid again. As you can see, we've made some changes to it. And, you know, it kind of acts like the old school uh, grid where, you know, the items pop out and such. Uh, you give it a click and then you get, you know, item title and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, actually, there was a point to that. So play actually works now. Haven't implemented the screen, plan too soon. Anyways, um, so you may notice here uh, we have the now playing that's actually popped out before that just said TV. And we go here, we've actually got a playlist of items and then um, the screen is rather bare and you know this is where we need our designers to come get busy. I'm going to be adding buttons and other things but you guys could at least be adding placeholders and then I can just tell you the code that needs to be dropped in to certain places because it won't be more than like two lines if that um, anyways but these buttons actually work you can't see anything but it is pausing actually you can see under here if you're on HD that it did, did actually pause um, change media speed or just stop it and it takes me back to screen one give you a demonstration of playlists you know Here's our playlist. So I mix a lot at the start, but if I want to go, I don't know. Anyways, you can click on the playlist now and it will be, you know, it'll go where it's supposed to go. Um, manage drives, there's still nothing here. Um, audio playlist is essentially the same. Okay. Yeah, I have a ghost in my machine and it randomly starts Myth TV. So. But this is a good chance to show you the, uh, where the F is it? There's a Myth TV screen. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any providers, but if there were, you would have a provider right there. Um, and then this actually goes to the live TV screen. You can dial in, you know, channels you want to go to. This doesn't work fully, but it actually dials to where you want to go, but whatever. Anyways. Um, so that's essentially it. Now I'm going to take you over to a different place called Aeonland. Where the hell did I put it? Change styles. And. Ooh, pretty. Oops, no, not pretty. Pretty. Um, this is a skin that Mark is working on. Um, it's basically just demonstrating how radical you can get with the UI that, or with the what we're providing now, you know? You don't you're not married to the old DCE concept, so that's something you really need to kind of bang yourself in the head. I know that I'm replicating the UI one skin somewhat, but that's basically because I'm programming the thing, and I just need stuff to go in a place, and I'm, it's easier for me to not have to be creative as far as the UI. Um, let's see, I don't even know if he has any. Oh wait, yes he does. Media. On the media screens, you'll see. Uh, I think he has video. I see he actually employed a uh, cover flow for his. He doesn't have all of the screens and whatnot set because it's, you know, he's actually designing this um, a little bit more hands-on, but, you know, he's actually, and one thing I have to give Merck props for, he's actually given me a lot of insight into how to work with these list models and data models as far as providing stuff in a simple manner for the people um, 
that are going to be working on the skin so they don't really have to get that deep in stuff. Um, I really like what he actually did here with the uh, with the filters. That's really I think that would that just looks really really nice. Um, that idea would probably be stolen at some point. Make no mistake. Anyways, I would click off. Oh yeah, but yeah, he's got them for all kinds of stuff. Anyways, so that is essentially where we're at. Um, hopefully, next time I make a, a video, Raby will have something to show us. He's been uh, digging in, and now that everything is ready for Mac OS X, he uh, actually I talked to him today, and he's working on getting his first can up and ready. So um, now's the time, guys, because you know the more insight we get from you, the better we can make stuff as well. Um, oops, what else do we have? I think there was. Oh yeah. No, that doesn't work. Oh yeah. Rudimentary power screen. A little room selector. These are default images. That's another thing. We're working on getting the images directly from the router. That should be implemented soon. Um, but as you can see, the room selector it changes the room. You know, we've got our user selector, Bender, who lives in a closet. We all know that. Anyways, um, that is all. Good day.